This week, we have a special opportunity to get together and meet a real need in our community. And we're looking for people who are willing to go and be part of tangibly serving others so that we can share Jesus with them. Now, does that sound good to you? When I said, hey, we're going to go serve others that have a need, your heart began to beat. You're like, sign me up. I'm there. If that's you, today's episode is for you. Check it out. Here we go. Get your pen, pad, paper, notebook, and whatever it is you take notes with. And let's get ready to talk another style of evangelism today. What's going on, everybody? It's Ryan Fontenot here again with the One Million Cent Podcast, where together we are reaching a generation endangered and training one million teens around the globe to share the gospel by 2030. I'm in the middle of a series here, Quick Talks on Types of Evangelism. Real quickly, quickly we've covered some like direct evangelism, uh, testimonial evangelism, intellectual or apologetic evangelism, invitational evangelism, interpersonal, or as I like to say, hospitality evangelism. And each of these types of evangelism have a role to play in the kingdom. God leverages these, listen close, and often leverages them together to bring people to the king, Jesus. God will leverage gifts uniquely woven together And all along our stories of faith, I guarantee if you look back on your testimony, on your story, you will see someone who invited you, someone who told you, someone who cared about you, someone, well, as we're going to talk about today, who served you. Today, I want to talk about serving evangelism or leveraging our gifts toward serving others, practically serving and caring and giving and demonstrating the gospel to others so that they can come to know Jesus. I like to describe servant evangelism by using the story of the Good Samaritan. Do you remember the story of the Good Samaritan found in the Gospel of Luke? Here's what happens. The Bible says that a Samaritan was traveling down the road and he saw a man. Now, this was after a priest came by and a Levite came by. They saw the same dude who had been beaten, robbed, left for dead on the side of the road. They both looked and left. But the Samaritan comes along. He looks and he leans in. He goes over to the man. He sees the man. He he serves the man. He, he sacrifices for the man. Uh, the Bible says that he cleaned him up. He put him on his own donkey, took him to an inn, took care of him, and then gave what he had to the innkeeper and said, hey, take care of him and whatever else the bill comes to, I got it. I believe the Good Samaritan is a powerful example of servant evangelism. It's a perfect example of loving God and loving people. The reason I believe serving evangelism is so important is because of this simple statement, this powerful truth. If you're taking notes, you might want to write this down. Here it is. Our good deeds open up doors to share the good news. Don't miss this. Our good deeds open up doors to share the good news. Our good deeds are not the gospel, but they open up the door to share the gospel. They are tangible displays of the love of God that allow us to communicate clearly the gospel of Jesus. In other words, it's not an either or for me. It's a both and. And I think where we mess up is it's, no, it's all direct evangelism. Just go and knock on doors and tell strangers about Jesus. And that's it. And then on the other end, you got, no, we just need to love people and and, and do good to people and care for people and meet people where they are with their needs. And I would say it's not either or. The answer is yes. The reason we meet needs is to share the gospel. We share the gospel and it's more powerful when we've met needs or we've displaying the love of Jesus. Serving evangelism is so powerful. And Jesus knew this, right? In in the Sermon on the Mount, what did he say? He said this in Matthew 5, 16, let your light 
so shine before men. Now get this, let your light so shine before men. Some people may be wondering, well, what's your light? He says it, let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works. There it is. What's our light? It's our good works. And these are good works according to Ephesians, which Paul writes to the church in Ephesus, that God has ordained for us to already walk in. So as we walk in these good works that God allows us to be part of, it allows us to share the good news with people. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So here we are. We're seeing both working together. We're going to display to declare. We're going to love others so that we can tell others. Just the other day, I was taking my daughter to school. As I was taking her to school, I saw a lady pull over on the side of the road. We're about a minute from the school. She pulls over and I like, man, this lady has a flat. I've got to get my daughter to school in my mind. I'm going, hey, but what I'm going to do, drop her off, come back, circle back and help this lady. So indeed, drop my daughter off at school. I'm like, oh man, I need to go back. So I'm driving back. Well, the lady's car is gone. I'm like, man, there's only one way she could have went. She had a flat. I know she hasn't gone far. So I drive a little bit further, about a quarter mile down the road. She had pulled off and there she was. She was about to change her tire. She was in a safe spot, a safe place. Um, but in my heart, I knew I needed to go help. I, if my wife was broke down on the side of the road, she could change the tire. <laughs> But it would be awesome if somebody who loved Jesus stopped to help her. And so I pulled over, I asked the lady, hey, do you, do you need some help? Do you mind if I help you? I'm happy to help you change the tire. I saw you had a flat back there. Um, and she said, sure. So I was able to be there, help her change her tire, all of those things. And, um, and, and, and you know what, that, that could have been it. It could have been, Hey, God bless you. Have a great day. Um, but I, I had, I had on my, on my wrist, one, one of these wristbands and, and the truth is I just like, man, I need to share with her. And I said, Hey, um, listen, I'm, I'm happy to help you. So glad we got this fixed. Hope you have an incredible day. But before you go, I just want to give you this wristband on this wristband is really simply a story that changed my life forever. I know you're in a rush. I'm not going to hold you up, but Later on, if you go check out this website, jesussave.me, um, it'll share the story that changed my life forever and I believe could potentially change yours. Hope you have an amazing day. She said, thank you so much. Um, and and the truth is, I have no idea what happened after that. She may have put it on her wrist. I, I, I saw her put it on her wrist, but, but as she drove off, she may have taken it off and thrown it outside the road. Who knows? She may have given it to someone else. She may have thrown it in her car and never to think about it again. I have no idea. That's not my job. My job in that moment was very simply, hey, let me leverage my good works, the ability that I have to, to change a tire. I have time, I have the ability, and now I can do this. And the Holy Spirit just said, hey, now's a good time. Just hand her the wristband. No pressure, no nothing. Here you go. Check it out later. Who knows what God is going to do with that? I certainly don't know, but maybe, just maybe, maybe God uses a simple act of kindness and the powerful message of the gospel to point this lady to Jesus. And what was in that moment, very frustrating, a flat tire on the way to work, amen, uh, now becomes fuel and the spark that God used to ignite a relationship with her, changes her life forever. All I'm saying is this. Let's look for ways to be light in a very dark world so that in being light, doing good, we can share the good news. So I hope today as you walk around, you'll look for ways to not just do good, but share the good news, not just to show Jesus to others, but share Jesus with others. Because I promise you this, God will use our good deeds to open up doors to share the good news. So today, let's go tell someone about Jesus. Jesus.